Hello and welcome to this session in which we would look at the margin of safety. What is the margin of safety? Simply put, the margin of safety is the access. It's the additional of budgeted or actual sales above the break-even volume of sales dollars. Simply put, we have a break-even point. And what's the break-even point? Break-even point when your profit equal to zero. It means you have no profit and no loss. And below zero is a loss above zero is a profit so this is so you compute your break even at what point your sales will break even in terms of profit this is the break even so what we're computing is the access how much are you above your break even point are you this much above or is it this much above or is it this much above now the further you are positively from the break even point the better off you are now if you don't remember how to compute the break even point which is we looked at the in the prior session this is part of your cvp cost volume profit analysis simply put to find your break even in dollars which is sales dollars you will take your fixed cost dividing your fixed cost by the contribution margin percentage if you need to do this please look at the prior session in this lesson well Simply put, what would what would the drop in sales be before we incur a loss? Simply put, we're looking to find out how much sales we can lose before we hit that zero profit. That's basically what it is. And it's computed by taking the total budget, if we're preparing a budget, or the actual sales, and we subtract this from the break even. So first you have to have your break even in sales. Once you have you have your break even, you would compare that to your total or actual budget. It can we can also compute the margin of safety in terms of a percentage. So rather than giving you a sale, a dollar amount, I'll tell you, you know, your sales can drop up to 10%. The best way to look at this is to actually look at an example, but to compute the margin of safety in terms of percentage, you will take the margin of safety in dollars, which what you computed here, margin of safety in dollars, and you'll divide it by the total budgeted or actual sales dollar. It's pretty straightforward concept. Let's take a look at this example real quick, then we'll work a question. If you remember this uh, contribution margin income statement for Adam Company selling 400 tablets, and at 400 tablets we know each tablet is selling for 500 the total sales is 200 the variable expenses are 300 uh, 400 times 400 units times 300 dollars variable cost per unit 120 gives us a contribution margin of 80 we have fixed cost of 80 therefore net operating income equal to zero simply put we have break even in sales is 200,000 and we know that our gross uh, contribution margin percentage 200 divided by 500 is 40 percent now let's assume our sales our projected sales our budgeted sales is 250 well 250 minus 200,000 we say our margin of safety is fifty thousand dollar what does that mean it means so this is the budgeted or actual this is budgeted or actual so if we know, if we think we can have 250, we're $50,000 above the break-even point. We can also compute this, compute this in terms of percentage by taking 50,000, the break-even in dollar, dividing it by the budgeted or the actual 250, and we find out that that percentage equal to 20%. So simply put, your sales can drop 20% before you start to incur a loss. If it drops 20%, you will go down to, you will go back to, zero profit zero profit this point here now the best way again to illustrate this is to look at an actual example what you would see in the actual on an actual exam in an actual quiz to understand this concept and by the way this question is from farhatlectures.com if you're watching you're most likely an accounting student or a cpa candidate or a cma candidate those questions are on my website please subscribe so you can have access to questions in addition to the lectures it will help you tremendously invest in yourself don't shortchange yourself okay assume a company is operating with a relevant range during 2021 using the following contribution margin income statement provided by the company. We have sales 9,000 unit at 270,000, variable expenses at 189, contribution margin 81,000, fixed expenses 70,350, net operating income is 10,650. What is the margin of safety for the year so what's the margin of safety for this company well to know the margin of safety we have to compare we have to compare this number which is uh, uh 270 000, 
to what? To the break-even point. What is the break-even point? Well, we have to compute the break-even point. How do we compute the break-even point? Fixed cost divided by the contribution margin percentage. We know the fixed cost is how much? We know the fixed cost is 70,350. 70, What's the contribution margin percentage? Well, hopefully you know how to do this. It's the contribution margin dividing by sales. So let's take a look at this and see how much is the contribution margin percentage, which is, let me see, get the calculator stuck a little bit here. Let's take a look at it. I have two of them. <laughs> okay, so it's going to be 81,000. 81 divided by 270, which is the contribution margin percentage is 0.3 or 30 percent. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to take this, we're going to perform this computation, and that's going to give us what? That's going to give us the break even in sales. So, 70,350 divided by 0.3, that's going to give us 234,500. So, this is break even in sales now if you want to go ahead and try it yourself to make sure your net operating profit equal to zero you can now what is the break even in terms of percentage that's what we're looking for well first we have to find out what's the difference between 270 and 234 500 so let's take a look at this 270 minus 234 500 will give us our margin of safety our margin of safety this is the dollar amount equal to 35,500 the question is in terms of percentage well we're going to take this number divided by the projected sales which is 35,500 divided by 270 divide this number by 200 and 35,500 divide divide in, let's do it one more time 35,500 divide it by 270 and that's going to give us 13.148, uh, which is 13.15 rounding, which is this number here. Therefore, the answer is C. Again, at the end of this recording, if you're not a subscriber, subscribe so you can practice more multiple choice questions, more exercises to reinforce this concept. Good luck. Study hard. And of course, stay safe.